Why did Fuzi lose to Deji? What exactly did Fuzi do wrong in this fight to not end Deji's boxing career? Well, I'll tell you what Fuzi did wrong. So get ready to hear some very tough love, everybody. Because when it comes to dropping the football, Fuzi did not drop the football. I repeat, Fuzi did not drop the football. Fuzi did something way worse than that, and that's fumbling the goddamn football, I tell you you because come on Fuzi what the fuck how many times do we have to go through this, man? Blocking punches with your face does not work. Fuzi tried this strategy before in the past when he fought against Slim, and we all saw what happened there. So my question is, why the hell is Fuzi repeating the same exact failing strategy again? Shouldn't that problem be the very first thing that was fixed during training camp day one? But I guess that's what happens when you decide to cut corners and not prop Really trained for this fight because when you compare Fuzi's physical appearance with his actual boxing skill, you can clearly see that Fuzi chose to go on a fitness journey rather than going on a boxing journey to prepare for this fight. And when you cut corners like that, just remember that a pint of sweat will always save you a gallon of blood. And I think Fuzi learned that lesson the hard way. This is what happens when you focus more on the fitness of boxing rather than focusing on the technique of boxing. You get your ass kicked. Because if Fuzi went on an actual boxing journey, he would have looked a million times better. A little less time in front of the mirror and a little more sparring would have been very helpful here. Fuzi would have learned what defense and counter punching if he spent more time developing his technique in boxing. At the end of the day, Fuzi isn't to blame for this. It's his goddamn trainers that led him down the path of misery. The right trainer would have never let Fuzi get into the ring only to get his ass beat with zero technique because there was way too much curls for the girls in Fuzi's training program for this fight. Just imagine what could have happened if Fuzi focused less on those pretty boy beach muscles and focused more on improving his boxing skill. It would have been the 4th of July in that boxing ring with the amount of fireworks that would have happened. So kudos to Deji because he looked like he came ready to fight. But Fuzi, on the other hand, looked like he was ready to hit some pads like it was another fitness workout. Because this man had zero head movement, zero defense when it comes to dodging Deji's punches. What I'm trying to say here is that there was no technique from Fuzi. And now you have to ask yourself a very important question right now. Did Deji all of a sudden magically get a million times better in such a short amount of time? Or did Fuzi look so bad and totally unprepared that he actually made Deji look good? So congratulations on Deji for getting his first big win. But it's going to take a lot more than beating Fuzi for Deji to earn back my trust after losing three times in a row. Deji beating Fuzi is a step in the right direction, but I'm not entirely convinced that Deji is the real deal just yet. Until Deji fights someone who demonstrates technique, then I will say that he's come a long way. But for now, congrats to Deji on getting your first victory against someone with zero boxing technique. But let me wrap this video up. Leave me a comment down below. Do you believe that Deji's the real deal now or was this fight just the fluke? But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and if you want more, hit that subscribe button and I will see you all later.